if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on free. thank you very much hello everyone i am dr javed ikbal kokhar professor of forensic medicine and toxicology for the past few lectures i am discussing autopsy and this is the lecture number 27th in the previous lecture we discussed the negative autopsy and pseudo negative autopsy so continuing with the previous topic that is pseudo or the false negative autopsy and the learning objectives of this lecture will be that we will learn what are various lapses or conditions which make an autopsy negative or false negative so there are some lapses which makes an autopsy negative and these lapses are lapses in the history lapses in the external examination and lapses in the internal examination these we have discussed in the previous lecture in continuing with the next lapses in the collection for histopathological examination or lapses in the collection of toxicological examination or lapses in the person who is conducting the autopsy and there are certain limitations so the lapses in the collection of samples for histopathological lab these lapses which make a histopathological sample inadequate are that they are collection from not proper site not in proper amount and not preserved prep properly regarding the preservative and regarding the temperature of preservation then the lapses in the toxicological analysis in suspected case of poisoning previously it was a routine to send following specimen to the chemical examiner's lab for toxicological or analytical examination and there is a suspicion of poisoning and if sent it is not from the suspected site not in proper amount and not preserved properly then these samples also become unavailable specimen specimen is there but not following the proper precautions it makes or it becomes an unavailable for the desired objective the following were the specimens which were used to send to the chemical examiner lab for toxicological and analytical examination stomach with its contents piece of small intestine about 2 feet piece of liver with gall bladder spleen and one kidney and the sample of the preservative as control and we know for toxicological analysis the saturated saline is the control so these were routine samples which were previously sent for chemical analysis then punjab forensic science agency in the province of punjab in pakistan now have issued new guidelines if we suspect a case of poisoning the guidelines for the uh, samples they are they issued a notification this is the picture of the notification and the present guideline states that in a case where you suspect poisoning in fresh bodies the routine specimen which need to be dispatched they are they were previously the small intestine large intestine and kidneys no need to dispatch these samples the required sample for routine poisoning cases are the blood urine stomach without opening and liver if blood is not available or if the case is of opium or heroin suspected the lapses in the person conducting the autopsy which makes the autopsy negative 
if the autopsy surgeon conducting the autopsy is deficient in knowledge and training in the field of forensic medicine then he is bound to commit errors and omissions to pick up the finding hence the conclusion drawn on faulty examination of the findings will give result as negative autopsy then there are certain limitations sometimes there are certain poisons which are difficult to detect and they will not be considered as labs like volatile poisons vegetable poisons and synthetic poisons so this is a limitation then the indicator sometimes cannot be detected in few of the conditions like putrefaction over freezing and fragmented or mutilated remains in putrefaction because of the dissolution and liquefaction anti mortem nature of the injuries and histological examination will not be possible and in fragmented remains it arises many difficulties in examination and in over freezing this will cause solidification of the tissues and histological examination will be lost so summary of this lecture is that we have learned that there are certain lapses and the limitations which makes an autopsy false negative it is not negative but it becomes false negative so thank you very much so this is all about the pseudo negative or false negative autopsy take care allah